Hello everybody and welcome back to CoinQuest. CoinQuest of course is a series where we hunt through $25 boxes of pennies just like this one right here. And we're going to be looking through the rolls in this $25 box of pennies in search of all of the coins that we need to fill up this collection right here which goes from 1909 up through 2009. So today as always I'm going to be using this coin placemat to do my hunting on. This is something that I designed and it's actually up for sale if you want to get one for yourself. It basically just shows you all of the different kinds of coins that you have a possibility of finding in your rolls. And then the back side has uh, some score sheets that we came up with. We use these in our competition hunts and then this shows you the low mintage and the key date coins. So definitely check that out if you're interested. There will be links in the description below. Now the first three boxes we looked through in this series were absolutely amazing. We found tons of awesome coins including the rarest Lincoln Memorial scent and a key date wheat penny. So if you want to watch every single episode of Coin Quest in order, definitely check out this playlist right here. But with that being said, I got my rolls right here all ready to go. Why don't we go ahead and just jump right into this $25 box pennies and see what we can find. All right, so as is tradition on the Coin Quest series, I'm going to be jumping into the first roll live. So let's go ahead and take a look here onto the coin cam and see if we can get anything out of this first roll. So this is literally the first roll from the box. And uh, hopefully this gives us a little bit of an idea of what this box is going to look like. Now keep in mind, I am still looking out for the 2003 Denver. That's one that I don't have. It's, there's no special reasoning behind that. I just don't happen to, um, I haven't found it yet. Um, so I have to keep an eye out for that one. And actually guys, look at that. The very first roll ended up bringing us a wheat penny. So that is really cool. Hopefully, like I said, that's gonna be a good indicator of what this box has to come. Came out wheat side up, so let's go ahead and flip it over in three, two, one. All right, so it's a little bit older as well. It's a 1942 wheat penny. So that is an awesome start to the box. And actually, if we check a look right here, looks like we have a Canadian as well. Uh, that one's a little bit newer though, so that wouldn't count for uh, points on our score sheets. It's a 1966, so you're gonna see that uh, back there that you quite commonly will see uh, with the wheat pennies. Let's see if we have anything else in this roll. It's already been a really great one, and uh, I'll have to check the book to see if we already have the 1942. Uh, I'm pretty sure that we do though. I think it's a, it's, it's a pretty common coin, although it is a little bit of an older one. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go ahead and pick up this camera right now and uh, check the book together. So we'll see if we have that uh, 1942 or not. So here, I'll just show you, uh, you know, as we get there, um, this first page, we have one coin on the first page. It is that 1919 right there. Very slick. I believe we found that in the uh, most recent episode. We got a few on this page, actually. We have up here the 1921, 23S, which is the key date that we found, uh, 27, 34. So we're filling out even those older pages pretty nicely. Um, but there is the 1942 right there. So we do already have it. Um, but that's all right, guys. It is pretty cool to find a wheat penny live on the first roll. That's always uh, a good thing to have happen in an episode. And uh, like I said, hopefully it's going to give us uh, some good luck for the box. So all right, I'll get into the next rolls and let you know if I find anything else good. So we're on about our sixth roll now and I uh, haven't had a whole lot in the last few rolls. I got a couple of things which I'll show you right after this. But check this out, guys. This was really cool to see because it came out of like this super shiny section. I was not expecting to see uh, an older coin come out. You can see it's surrounded by shiny coins over here and shiny coins over here. That means that they're probably zinc, you know, minted after 1982. But this is a wheat back, which is really cool to see. I love it when they come out the wheat side up so that we can sort of make a, do a little guessing game on the date. Um, this one actually has a little bit of luster left, so I'm excited to see what this is gonna be. We'll flip it in three, two, one. All right, so it's a 1944. That is a very, very common wheat penny that you will see come out quite a bit if you do uh, hunting for yourself. We'll go ahead and look at the rest of this roll, see if uh, there's gonna be anything else in here that uh, is gonna be good for us. Actually, I think I might see something that we need. I'm looking at this right now, and I was just looking at this in the book. Let me check real quick. Yes, we do need this one, guys. Check this out. Just spotted this, a 19... 71s 1971 san francisco coin right there that is one of the last modern san francisco coins that we need um, so i'm going to go ahead and show you the book right now just to prove to you that we do actually need that one like i said one of the last ones that we need right there 1971 san francisco there we go so that is the first coin out of this box that's going into the book and uh, it may as well you know as i while i got you here i may as well show you what we got going on here so um, wow, we have no wheats in this section right here, so we definitely need to work on that section. Hopefully we get some out today. Um, this one's spotted. We got a whole bunch of them in here and in here as well. So these are the more modern wheats. And then we get into the modern coins here. Um, I'm saving the 60s for a new episode. I'm saving the 70 S's for a new episode because these are sort of a distinction that we have to make between these different coins here. So really the only coins that we need are 1961 we just got the 71S, so we don't need that one anymore. I'm just gonna go ahead and put that right there while we flip the page. 
and then all of these are done except for the 1982s which are also going to be in another episode and then the 2003 Denver which we have not been able to find yet hopefully we get that today but I've been saying that for a while and then of course we have a couple of the 2009 Denvers as well because these are low mintage coins um, actually if we look over at these the, the uh, placemat here you can see the different types of 2009 coins that you're able to find in the rolls. So that's one of the things that I worked into the uh, placemats when I designed them. Wow, I really need to just keep asking for things if I want them. Every time I ask for something, it shows up, guys. The very next roll, check this out. This is so cool. I finally found it, and I probably skipped over like 10 or 20 of these things. They're just hard to spot because you're not really looking for them. As you can see, that's about as normal of a penny as you can ever see. There's nothing special about it, except that it's a 2003 Denver, which is the year that I needed, which I was just talking Talking about telling you guys and I've been talking about this for a couple episodes now um, I'm just so happy to have that because I can stop looking at modern clad um, so 2003 Denver and actually this was really cool as well I think this was towards the uh, beginning of the roll it is my first 2018 coin so 2018 coins showing up in March now that is really cool to see um, I didn't think that they would make it into circulation that fast but they definitely did and that is my first one so I definitely am gonna slab that or put it in a 2x2 two two because that is a special coin uh, whenever you see the first of you Year, that's a special occasion so all right let's go through the rest of this roll and see if uh, there's anything old in here see if we can get that 19 I think what did I say 61 I think so if we can get a 61 that would be the end of the modern sense for us which would be really awesome uh, there's a Canadian so I'll definitely pull that out and there's another Canadian right there you can see that uh, those are all copper they're all copper up until 1999 I want to say so all right, that's about it for that roll. Uh, awesome roll, though. Got our first 2018 and a 2003 Denver, finally. All right, let's get on to the next one. Hopefully, we find that 1961. So this is out of the very next roll, and you can see we have a wheat scent looking at us right here. That's three for three on flipping the wheat side up, so I am super stoked about that. Love the color on this one, by the way. It looks like it's going to be an older one, so let's see what it's going to be here. It is a 1951 Denver, so not as old as I thought it would be. It looks like it's just been in circulation for a while, probably changed hands quite a few times. Uh, 51 Denver, it turns out we already have that one in the books, so that is just going to be added to the pile. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the rest of this roll, though we might have another weedy in here. Uh, I didn't end up getting a look at the rest of these uh, coins too closely. There's a 1960 Denver, we'll pull that one out because uh, we may be needing that one a little bit later. But it looks like that's going to be it for this roll, so why don't we go ahead and get on to the next one. Alright guys, so the very next roll had a nice old looking wheat right here. I actually like the color on this one even better, and there we go, 4 for 4 on flipping up wheat scents, uh, wheat side up. You can see that that has been worn down, way down. Uh, it's actually got a nice dark red color to it, which you don't usually see in these coins. I honestly think this is gonna be before the 40s, so let's go ahead and flip it over and see what we got. Three, two, one. Oh, come on, 1950, are you kidding me? That thing looked like it was gonna be in the teens. Unbelievable, but it is, guys. It is a 1950S, so that doesn't sound like something, yeah, we need that one for sure. 1950S, hey, you know, I just went from major disappointment to uh, being super stoked about that because, uh, like I was telling you guys a little bit earlier, that is the section in the collection right here that had zero coins in it, so 1950S right there. That is an awesome coin, even though it wasn't a, a you know, a teens like I was hoping it was going to be. Um, awesome to get that one anyway. So, all right, why don't we go ahead and get on to the next roll. Hopefully we get some more old ones in there as well. Okay, this is like the fourth or fifth roll in a row that has had something amazing. I don't usually say the very next roll over and over again, but check this out, guys. Um, this is the section that I'm looking at right here. Um, you can see that there is a nice old looking Canadian coin right there. Um, and I just peeked at it a little bit. You can see the date. It's a 1942. So you know that's going to be a King George the sixth coin right there. Actually, pretty close to a King George the fifth. Let's go ahead and flip this over so you can see that reverse side. There he is, King George the fifth Canadian penny right there. Uh, once I get the Canadian penny book, I'll definitely be putting that in there. I don't have it yet. It's actually really hard to find if you try and find a Canadian small cents uh, penny book online because uh, they discontinued the penny in 2012 up there in Canada so it's pretty hard to find any uh, coin collecting supplies for their coins. It's so awesome being up here in Michigan where I'm near the Canadian border because I get Canadian coins like that all the time. It definitely makes things a lot more interesting when I'm coin roll hunting. All right let's get on to the next one. Start to a roll guys. Check this out. So the first coin that I see pop up is a birth and early childhood 2009. I uh, haven't checked the minted the mint mark on it yet so let's see what we got here. 
2009 plane, we already have all the planes. So uh, that does count for one point on our score sheet, but I already have it in the book, so we don't need it. Here we have a formative years. And by the way, I haven't found any 2009s until just now. So that is another plane. We don't need that one. Um, but I saw this right here. It is our first wheat that came face up. 1958 Denver, just a baby of a wheat penny right there. That is the last year that they made them. But uh, I gotta check, I guess I don't, yeah, we already have that one, I had to check though. Um, so I do have that one already. And then once again, another 2009 was surrounding it. This is another formative years. And this one is a 2009, oh, that's a Denver. So let's see if that's the one that we need. I'm not sure if that's gonna, actually, nope. That is actually the only one that we already have of the 2009 Denver. So we don't need that one, unfortunately. But that's three 2009s in the same roll, in the same half of the roll. You know, we haven't even gotten that far in this roll yet. So there could be more in here, who knows? Um, sometimes the 2009s are a little bit tricky to uh, pick up on just because they look like every other coin in the roll. So you gotta really keep your eyes peeled for those 2009s. But it looks like that is the end of the roll. Everything was super front loaded in that roll. Um, anyways, we're gonna get into the next one and hopefully we find some more cool stuff. So I've been hunting for a while now. I haven't turned the camera on in a few minutes. It's probably been about 10 rolls or maybe even more than that. Um, I found a few common wheat pennies, which I'll show you in just a second, but I just came across a coin that I know that we do not have in the collection. Check this out, guys. I saw it come out face up just like that. And uh, as you get older in the, in the wheat pennies, it gets harder to find a mint mark on the coins. That is a 1941 Denver right there. We found a 1941 plane earlier. That is a Denver and we do not have that one in the collection. So I will be adding that to the collection right now. And why don't I go ahead and show you a few of the wheat pennies that I've found in the last few rolls. Uh, actually, this box has turned out to be a really good box for wheat so far. So here you go. This is a 1956 Denver. 1941 right there. Oh, I guess I didn't show you when we found that 41 earlier, uh, but there is another 1944 right there, which actually looks like it's been in a fire or something. It's pretty crazy. Um, all of those are very common to find, so we do already have all of those, um, so they are duplicates. Why don't we go ahead and take a look at the rest of this roll. I've uh, been getting a ton, a ton, a ton of copper in uh, the rolls, so there's been really good opportunities to find wheat pennies. That's why I've been, we've been finding so many. Um, I am sort of skipping through a few things, though, just because I don't want this to end up being like an hour long video. Um, but anyways, guys, that is it for that roll. Um, I got that 41 Denver, which I'm super stoked about. Let's go ahead and get into the next one. We're about halfway through the box now and uh, we'll see what we can get. All right, guys, so I just found something that you may or may not have seen before in rolls. I see them all the time, but honestly, this is the most extreme example. I wouldn't usually make a big deal out of this, but this is the most extreme example that I've ever seen of it. Um, it doesn't even really show up on the camera that well. You have to get it in the right lighting. There you go. Check that out. That is what they call a woody scent or a wood grain Lincoln scent right there. You can see the very bold lines that are going across the coin right there. We'll see if it uh, continues on to the backside. It doesn't look like it does, but um, you see those lines. That's something to do with the alloy not mixing correctly, and then it uh, shows up like that. So this must be a copper coin. It's a 1982 Denver. That is absolutely by far the most extreme example that I have seen um, of that coin ever. So I'm definitely gonna put that one aside, probably put it into a flip. And uh, these are actually can be very desirable. Some people collect these. Some people even try to make entire collections out of just these. So um, very cool to see that one. A very, very extreme example right there. It's actually showing up pretty well on the camera. Um, all right, why don't we go ahead and get into the next roll. We got about 15 more rolls to go. So a few rolls later and we have a wheat side facing up. So we're gonna go ahead and check this one out together. Let's take a look here. There you go, it is the wheat side. Go ahead and guess the date on that one if you think you know. I'm gonna guess 40s or 50s, but we'll see. Three, two, one. What is it gonna be? 1944, I think that's our third one on the box, so that's definitely uh, gonna be a duplicate. I also found a couple rolls ago, a 1945. So 44 and 45 plane are both very common. And actually guys, I just realized I did something pretty silly uh, earlier on in the episode. This 2018 Denver, which I found, I didn't even consider that that is something that I actually need in the collection. I just like put it in this completely different category, but now I realize that, yeah, we actually do need that in the collection uh, and there is room for it. So I'll definitely be putting that in. It's cool though, that we were able to get the Denver before we got the Philadelphia. That doesn't usually happen. So I will put that one in the collection, which means we actually need to be looking out for the 2018 Philadelphia from now on, uh, because it looks like the 2018 coins are out there. So we'll have to be looking for that. And uh, we have one more coin to fill in, which we didn't have in the 
the beginning of this series because I don't even think the 2018 coins were out when we started this series. So that is cool though. Hopefully we get the other one uh, before the series ends. We got about 15 more rolls to go and we'll see what we can find. So continuing on with our run of amazing boxes, we just found one of the last coins that we needed to complete our modern section. Check this out guys. I just got it. I asked for it a little bit earlier in the episode and it finally came through. 1961. That was one of the last coins that we needed in the modern section. So I'm actually going to put that in the collection right now. It goes over here in the left side and then I'm going to grab that phone and show you guys what this collection is looking like right now because we are doing a great job so far. So here is where the modern section starts. 1959 is the first date. Like I said, we're going to be looking at the 60s in a later episode. Uh, 70s as well. So that completes this page for now at least. We have to still fill in the 60s and the 70s's. Now moving over here, all we have left over here is the 1982's. Very cool. That's actually been like that for a while. Um, and since we found that 2003D today, that is the finish, that finishes this page. So we have an entire page right there full. That is the first one in the book. Very, very cool. And then it looks like all we have left are those 2009 Denvers. Uh, still haven't been able to find those. I've been looking really hard for them, but I haven't been able to get them yet. And apparently now we have to find a 2018 Philadelphia because the 2018 coins are out. So kind of a win and a loss right there because we got that one, but now we have another empty spot in the book. So that is really cool, guys. We only have about five more rolls to go. And uh, here's the wheat penny section just in case you wanted to check that out real quick. But uh, we're going to go ahead and get into the rest of these rolls and then we'll do a quick wrap up and finish the video. Wow, okay, so we only have two rolls left in the box and uh, I just found something that I can already see that there's three wheat pennies in it at least. So we have two right here, wheat side up, over here we have another one which is probably just out of frame for you, but we'll get to that in a second. We're going to look at these uh, wheat side up ones first. So let's flip that one and see what we got there. That is a 1946. I know that's pretty common and we do already have that one, so we're just going to put that one to the side and check the next one. Uh, this one looks a little bit older, possibly, we'll see. Yeah, just a little bit older, 1944. We already know that that is a, a fairly common coin right there. Let's go ahead and move on over to that next wheat penny, which I can actually see the date of. It's showing the day side up, so I'm gonna show you guys what this one is in just a second. And here it is. It looks like there wasn't anything else in between. That is a nice looking 1958. Like I said, just a baby on that one. But wow, look at the shine on that. A beautiful coin. Uh, the very last year that they minted the wheat pennies. And it turns out that we actually do need that one in the collection. We already had the 58 Denver, but we did need that 58 Philadelphia. An awesome coin to add to the collection as well. So like I said, guys, two more rolls. I'm going to put this one in the collection and uh, we'll probably get onto the wrap up soon unless I find something amazing in those last two rolls. All right, so that is the end of the box. Now, welcome to the wrap up guys we have a ton of wheat pennies up here these are all the common dates as you can see using our quince coins official small cent coin roll hunting competition score sheet we have wheat cents from the 40s and 50s coming in at five points a piece so that's 13 of them right there at five points a piece plus we got three that went into the album for five points a piece as well so that's 80 points just in wheat pennies um, and then moving down here, we have our 2009s. Surprisingly, all three of them came out of the same roll, which I showed you guys on camera. Uh, so that was pretty crazy. Those are worth one point a piece, so that's three right there. Um, we had a couple of young head Canadians. This one is a 64, and then here we have a 62. Uh, we count those as five points a piece here on our additional Canadian score sheet. And then we also got a King George the sixth, which counts for 10 points. So that's 10, 20, 23, plus what we got up here, which was 80 for the uh, wheat cents. That comes out to a total of 103 points on this box. So not as good as the last ones, but actually a very good box um, nonetheless because the last ones were just so amazing. I couldn't even believe uh, all the points that came out. But uh, in case you haven't seen already, this is our score sheet. We use this not only to rate boxes, but also in competition hunts. So once again, if you're interested in picking up one of these Quinn's Coins coin roll hunting placemats for yourself, you can check out the links down in the description below just to give you another quick look at them. They show all the different coins that you can find while you're coin roll hunting pennies. And uh, of course, on the back here, we have the Quinn's Coins official coin roll hunting score sheet for our pennies and then the additional Canadian scores, as well as some of the different mintages that uh, you're going to find in your pennies. So very nice 
resource, definitely cool to have while you're coin roll hunting pennies, and definitely something you're gonna wanna check out. So I'll have links to purchase those down in the description below, and actually I've been working on something recently, I've been working on building a website, so if you go over to quincecoins.com right now, depending on when you're watching the video, it may be completely broken, but hopefully there's something there for you. You should be able to order those on that website as well. Let me know if you're having problems though, and I'll try and help you as best I can. But that's pretty much gonna do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to go down below and leave a like, it helps out a lot. Subscribe if you're new because I post new videos like this every single week. Click up here to watch one of those new videos and click down here to check out the Coin Quest playlist. It's an awesome playlist and you're not gonna wanna miss a single episode. And with that being said, I'm Quinn and this is Quinn's Coin signing out and I will see you in the next one.